Hey guys, it's Will here from Controllable and welcome back to another episode of the Fulham Let's Play series here in Football Manager 2018. In the last episode, you saw our 2-0 victory against Cardiff and then our great comeback against Liverpool where we were 3-0 down and came back to 3-0. In the five games off camera, it's not been pretty. We started off with a 1-0 loss in the Carabao Cup 4th round against Reading. A really poor result. In which we did rotate the team quite heavily, but it's just not acceptable to be losing that sort of game. And then we suffered a 2-1 defeat against Watford, where we took the lead early on from Patrick Catrone. Did pretty well away from home in terms of stats, but just didn't put the ball in the back of the net. It's a summary of the game, and Watford did, and they punished us. Then we got a 0-0 draw against Arsenal, where we, we really did deserve to win this game at Craven Cottage. Arsenal looked pretty poor. Signed Yaya Toure on a free. I didn't know that, but um, they did. And uh, yeah, we just, I thought we played really well. And it was good to, in terms of performance wise to get a rebound from the Watford game. We then travelled to Wolves' ground. I cannot remember what that is. The Molyneux. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do know what that is. And um, yeah, I think the fair result was a draw based on the stats. Obviously, a newly promoted team. Uh, they were 2-0 two, two up and then I switched to the back three and um, yeah, we managed to come back in the game uh, more uh, with John Miguel Seri scoring. They scored again, but we managed to get two goals. And I think the three at the back has been shooting us a little bit more, more recently. So now I decided to start it in the one all draw against Brighton where we did dominate again. Played three at the back. Uh, the only problem with formation is the wing backs. We have no really suitable inverted wing backs for this position. But I think Brian could play it well and Cissé could play it pretty well as well. So, in today's episode, we have got a clash against Man United and a clash against West Ham. So that'll be interesting. And in terms of transfers, Alexander Richard came to me and he asked me, he wanted to be sold, he wasn't having any of it, he wasn't getting enough to do first team football and he doesn't fit the false nine that we need so I put I put my transfer list we've got one bit of 4.1 million it's not that m it's not that much so I'm just gonna wait and see if other clubs are gonna come in so yeah I will see you guys for the match one. so our team for today is gonna be a 4-3-3 decided to go for the 4-3-3 ahead of the 3-4-3 three, three, because we just have more familiarity with the 4-3-3 standard back four of Christie, Chambers, Mawson and Sessegnon Standard three, midfield of Seri, Kearney and Johansson and the front three, which keeps changing and it's not, I just can't find the perfect front three of Charlotte, Vieto and Cabano. For Man United's team, it's going to be a 43-1 of Lindelof, sorry, Shaw, Lindelof, Bailly, Valencia, Herrera, Pogba, Sanchez, Mata, Robin, who they've signed been given the number 10 shirt which means oh Rashford hasn't been given them 10 shirt on here okay but in real life Rashford has 10 shirt now and Lukaku up front they signed Robin on the free um they've got most notable people on the bench are Fred Ra obviously Rashford Lingard and obviously Martial so they've got a lot of attacking talent but Mourinho he doesn't play attacking so we're gonna tell him to get that we're underdogs there's no pressure on us and yeah, let's hope we can. I mean, we're not expected to win this. Um, they're they they are easily the favourites for this game. Uh, I I really need to see a better performance from Scherler because I, I, we're paying a lot of week for him to be here on loan, and his average rating is not what it needs to be. <laughs> we're on like a six match losing streak. We need to. Tr I mean, I'm not expecting a win against Man U, but definitely against West Ham. And he's trying to get a result and a positive one. As Manu come forward with Pogba. One of the star men. I'll move that out of the way. Robin. Seems very weird seeing Robin. Valencia's just got so much base. And I thought we had the ball back wherever we don't. It's Lukaku now. Gives it to Pogba. And Sergio Rico saves. We always seem to concede an early goal against the big teams. Robin. Christie out. Can we get a goal? It's not the end of the highlight. You can see Andre Scherler out there, and that is not a good ball. And Man United dominating the early stages, but you'd expect that. 
So, what is this going to be like? They are going to have another corner. We need to make sure we defend these set of pieces while they have some big people in there. Robin. The Kaku being one of them, and he puts Man United one goal in the lead. Simple tap in. <laughs> I don't know where the defence was. And that's 1 0 to Man United after 20 minutes. A final chance before a half time break. Alfie Morton to Callum Chambers. To Tom Kearney. Can we create something? Out to Cabano. He's not been very productive on the ball, and he's won back by Shaw. We've been showing liveliness. Pogba on the ball to And Herrera. Pogba. Make sure we stop him at all costs. Martial on the left. And Shaw's got... What is Cabano doing? Tracking back, please. Lukaku for another tap in Sergio Rico. After... Oh, Fabri's been complaining about not starting. I told him I was starting to start for the last two games. And we got two draws. And now Sergio Rico's letting goals like that. Callum Chambers is having a nightmare at the back. And as we approach the halftime stage, something's got to change. And that change is that they're going to... That was absolutely... Yeah, I'm just going to have Rolex them. That change is going to come tactically and we're going to have to go to the three at the back. <sighs> when things aren't working, I do tend to switch up. Charlotte is just constantly bad. Brian's coming out of left back. Oh, yeah, because obviously Fosu Mensas. Uh, um. Shall I keep Chambers on? Oh, no, I have to, surely. There's no one else who could play there. Sorry, he's not going enough, though. It'll be Johansson. Hello. Okay, let's undo. Get Sari back on. Swap Johansson for Sari. Take off your hands and all right, and we'll swap that two around. Okay, so can we try and improve? Because at the moment it's not going well. I'm going to take off Yetta as well. Who's recently is after that hat trick he got in the first game. High hopes for him. We've made all three subs, which you know it's not good. We're going to get an injury now. I'm almost hundred percent sure. That's just how FM works. And for all the criticism I gave of Mourinho, saying he parks the bus to start the game, he hasn't done anything like that. They've constantly been on attack. And Chambers is having an absolutely awful game. Still, he needs to pick it up. You know, he has. He's put, well, it's not really. I'm going to tell him to get creative. I don't think we've lost a match in which we haven't scored in. Unless that happens now. We haven't been any more solid with the three at the back. They've still peppered our goal. But there's not been a single highlight in the second half. And guys, that is just... <sighs> Ass game. And I think the start of the season went so well. We're now seven games without a win. And I appreciate our efforts. I'm, no, I'm not happy. And um, for the start of the season, we were seven games. We were we were unbeaten in six games. We're now seven games without a win. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, including the Carabao Cup third round. We're seven games without a win, and the unbeaten streak. Can, I mean, not unbeaten. The uh, losing. We're well, not losing, but not gaining maximum point streak continues. As we now head into the West Ham game in 12th position, th this has got to be a win. Because although we are 9 points ahead of 18th, we could easily get dragged back into that relegation battle if we don't get the win. So yeah, I will see you for the West Ham game. So after 7 straight games of not winning a match, we have changed the 4-3-3. We now have inverted wing backs who are going to cut inside, and we're going to keep these guys on wingers. Means we can push Sesson on up and use him in a more advanced position. Andre Schurla has not been the sign that I wanted him to be, so he's just going to be on the bench for now. I'll put Vieta on the bench, and I'll t t 
and I'll take off Patrick the Trainer for Anguisa. So, this is going to be the team for today's game. In goal, Sergio Rico back for Brian Morrison. Chambers is actually going to come off for his poor performance. And Christie, send him in three of Seri, Johansson and Kearney. And I put him on a Mazzano attack. And a front three of Sessignon, Fonte and Cabano. A very different front three. But we're not creating enough chances and we need to. So that's going to be the team for today's game. And I know Fonte is struggling with match fitness. But he needs to get over it. Their team is going to be a 4-2-3-1. They are in... They are in... 17th position, I think. So, you know, we need to be winning this game. 4-2-3-1, sorry. Most notable players are Hernandez and Zini. And Will Shear in there. They've got Kyle Sanchez in there from Florentina. In real life, they bought him on deadline day. Snodgrass. And uh, Lucas, I believe that's from Arsenal. So we're going to tell the boys we need to put in improved performance. That's absolutely fine. They're all, they're all motivated, mostly. So, Rui Fonte started the season. Had a couple of performances. I took him off, but he's going to start today. He's got to prove a point. Correct, Craven Cross as well. They start with a corner. They've got some big people in there, but Sergio Rica claims it. I forgot to take him out. I was going to bring in Fabri, but I forgot. Mawson clears out to Cabano. Can we do something here? Cabano down the right. That is woeful. That is woeful. I mean, come on. Fonte out to Sessignon, another poor ball. Sessignon does well with it though. Into Tom Kearney, into Cabano, who makes the most of it from a deflective effort from Kearney. And we luckily go into the lead. Come on, come on. Oh. Brian to Kearney, to Fonte. We need to create something. Cabano, the goal scorer. That is another woeful ball. <laughs> That's just... He can shoot, but he cannot cross. Also, I forgot to mention the board have given us some more money. We are now sitting on £33 million. They've given us money because of an improved financial position. Basically, it means win the Prem. We've got money. Let me give you some. So, in January, I'm going to be looking to spend some money. Definitely on some people that are good in the right back. I mean, not right back, right wing area. Because as good as Cabano is, he's only good in a couple of games. And the rest of the games, off camera, he's rubbish. But whenever he, the, we turn the camera on, he, turns to, he becomes a sort of god. It's quite odd playing Sessignon and Ryan. It feels, it feels like we're playing two left backs. But I won't mind if it won't, won't mind if one of them scores. That is a, just, where was that going, Fonte? Please. We cannot pass. We cannot pass. The confidence is so low. Lanzini is very good on the ball. And I know he can pass. I know he can shoot as well. But that was a weak effort. And after 12 minutes, there's been a lot of highlights. And I'm all for highlights if they're going in the favour of us. And this one does not like, look like it's going to be. Carlos Sanchez. Smacks it from distance. That was a great save from Rico. I take back everything that I said about February. If you can carry on doing that. And we're only on the 15th minute mark. And we've had a lot of chances. I'm just going to take a drink. To Creswell, to Lucas. To Wilshere. We cannot concede. We cannot. Wilshere. To Lucas. It feels like a goal. It's not. It's off the post. And pushed away. And then cleared. By Seri. They're dominating at the moment. But I expect them to. Their team is stronger than ours, to be honest. Our team is having a good game. We look up for it. We look up for it. We're going to encourage them. As Seri's on the free kick. He crosses it in Cabano. And that a penalty it is. And I don't know who's taking this. Seri. Okay, it's fine. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just encourage him. 
Hope you get my message before he shoots. And he does get it. And he gets us the 2-0 lead. We've not deserved it. Well, I mean, on those stats should be even. We don't we don't deserve to lose, but I'm very happy with the 2-0 score nine. We've finally, finally been clinical with the chances that we've got. On occasions with us in the last seven games, we haven't taken our chances, especially against that Arsenal in the Arsenal game. I'm very pleased with the performance. Keep it up. Yeah, please do. Just do. Winston Reed to Balbuena. And they are not performing well. You can see on the 17th. As we get another free kick situation. Fosu Mensa Almost fumbled by Fabianski. But he picks up the loose ball. We're playing very, very well. I might bring on Andre Scheller in a minute. Seri now. Do not lose the ball. And he does because they have some pace on the break. But Seri wins it back. It's a good track back, actually. That was really good tracking back. Fosu meant to Seri. They're pushing high up. They've got a gap in the middle. What's going on? Chikorito gets a goal back. And on that note, we've got to change something. Sessegnon. <sighs> I don't want to take off Sessegnon. I'll take off Fonte. For Scherler. Ooh. Scherler up top. You can't really play the role. But we're going to play him there. Because why not? No, that was a bit aggressive. Fonte. Make me regret that decision. Seri. Oh, they've got a lot of people behind the ball when we come at them. Cabano. Into Fonte. Almost, almost gets to him. Lucas Fabianski. And that comes away. Christie is playing rubbish. So, Alfie Moore. I mean, Chambers is going to come in. And Frosty is going to be right. Chambers is going to go in defence. And that is how we're going to... Frosty Metz has been our average top performer this season. Fun fact. Morton Bryan. Don't give the ball away there. Chikorito. Brilliant save. Come on. I, re I don't think it's working with the inverted wing backs. It isn't working. I might change it. I'm going to change it. They're going to go on to wing backs. On. Uh, you know what? I want them to get forward a bit more. I'm going to put them on complete wing backs on attack. I'm going to move Sessignon back. And we're going to take off Brian for Vieto and put Shell over there. I'm going to change both these players to inside forwards. On attack or support? Support, support. And because we've got those complete wing ups to attack, we're going to move the Spala on to support Wilshire. Lanzini. Let's not concede before the changes take place. As Chikorito goes close again. And it's nerve-wracking. It really is. We're inviting the pressure onto us. We need to keep hold of the ball. Cabana. In the areas where... They've not got everyone behind us. Can we look out for Vieto there? Andre Scherler. Make an impact. Make me want to pick you. Vieto. You too. And that was a good... That was a good effort. But... You know, it's like... Is that what we need? Vieto lays it off. He's very good at that sort of pass. Cabano, he's not good at crossing, as we know. But the keeper fumbles it. And Johansson gets us three goals won. We restore that two-goal advantage. And we're back in the lead by two goals, as I just said. Will, you absolute idiot. And Snodgrass, I support Aston Villa if you didn't know. And he, used to, he played for us last season. Brilliant. He's come on. He's probably scored a hat-trick now. I'm joking. All right. I'm going to rest Tom Kearney. And that's going to be our final sub. Going to bring on Nick Powell. I have used my subs. Will you absolute idiot. And I think. Unless there's one more chance now. Oh, five minutes ref. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I can see this happening right now. Such a Rico fumbles. Yeah, 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 yeah. I could see it happening from a mark. They're gonna get. They're gonna get. When they're gonna get an equaliser. Sorry. No, they are. I just. You just know it. This is just football manager. 
They're, oh, they've got a one over here, and they're going to bang it out to him. Guess we win the ball back. Keep it. Do not lose it. Do not lose it. Boot out in the crowd. Whatever. Just don't lose it. If if you score, that's absolutely fine. Vieto. Yes, come on. Two goal lead. Restored again. Instant reply. Come on. Damn. And that is going to be the game. I thought they were going to score, but we've scored. And after... T <laughs> I d I'm going to... This, this goalkeeper situation is going to give me night nightmares. Ha who am... Oh, no. Ref. It's 95. 37 seconds over that, and they've scored. Are you mad? And it's out. If they score, it's it. Yo, four three. She Louise. You know what? I'm gonna tell them that I'm very happy, cause the morale's low, and they're happy. Gareth Southgate was there, and we do get our overdue win, which means that we end the episode in twelfth with three points off Southampton or eleventh. Our terms of relegation zone, which we're trying to avoid, we're 10 points off. So, that is going to be the end of today's episode, guys. I just forgot what episodes I'm going to come back for. We're going to come back for the... We're going to come back for the Spurs and Crystal Palace game. Oh, do we? Or do we come back for the Man City? That's a quite a long break, but it means we're, like we're in January. No, no, no. We're going to come back for the Spurs and Crystal Palace game. Um, obviously, we're going to try and get our revenge against Spurs. Actually, we've already shown their matches. Oh, should I come back for... The you know what? I'll take one one game. I'll play with this. So, I'm going to play the Bournemouth game on camera and I'll come back for the Chelsea-Newcastle games. Both the way. That would be exciting. So, guys, if you have enjoyed the video, make sure you hit a like, subscribe, and also leave a comment down below. I've been Will. Thanks for watching. And I will see you next time. Bye.